Hey Harmonizers, welcome to this video with King. It's a pretty exciting episode where we're going to be taking a look at our trotting and cantering. So I haven't done uh, a lot of riding or work with him since coming back from Florida. So we did a Liberty restart, which means I trained him to ride walk trot and we did a little bit of canter with no tools at all while we were in Florida, not even a round pen. So I didn't have a neck rope, I didn't have whips, I didn't have anything. And so now he's come home and it's time to start using reins and a saddle so that way he can get ready for competitions and start to get ready for the thoroughbred makeover. We mainly did the Liberty Restart just to kind of explore our partnership and just make a, a deeper bond together. So now we have to kind of put everything together with reins. So this is going to be all new. We're going to do his first jumps. Here what I'm doing is a little bit of moving his haunches and moving his shoulders and just kind of showing you what we're starting with. And uh, you can see he's doing a fair bit of I kind of he head was tossing. With that way on he's the ground, not a big fan probably. of having reins. He's like, this is different. You know, I'm not used to having this. And, um, and he also hasn't done uh, okay. a lot of riding or anything since yeah. coming back from Florida. I think before this video was filmed, I think I was oh, okay. on him twice prior to this. His first ride at home, I just did walking and his second ride at home, I did walk trot. And so today in this ride, I plan to do some cantering and do some little jumps and things. Here you can see I'm asking him to move his shoulders around. And even though he's finding it hard and he's giving those little head tosses, I'm not making a big deal about it. I'm just kind of staying focused on what I'm asking him to do. And the moment that he gives me some soft steps, then I just offer him a reward. So it's, you always have to kind of remember where your horse is at in their training journey. And so he is at his first starting place with the reins and doing these different movements. So I want to reward him when he starts mm -hmm. to get soft, when he starts to get light. He was, he was uh, and not worried about them earlier on the ground. Because that would be too that's, much. I think that's why he was more unsure was about the Liverpool. Was he was more and more and more. Scared of so them. So just do a little bit and then uh, reward along the way. So here's a little bit of sideways. You can see if you get the nice dramatic head toss in there like what he just did there. And I'm not asking super firmly or anything. This is just new, this is different. So he's trying to explore, you know, how to get rid of the pressure on his face. And I try to have nice gentle hands. And then there he gets really nice and soft Aww, and light. So you can you. see I get that cookie ready for him and offer his little cookie there, which he's a little bit slow to take, which just helps tell me if I didn't already know that he was feeling a little bit stressed about the whole situation. So here's a look at some of his trotting work. And we were doing some circles, doing some small circles and some bigger circles, really trying to help start getting him to bend and take that bend all the way through his body rather than going in straight lines and letting him be very stiff. He's kind of a neat horse to ride. You can feel that he's very powerful, that he's got a lot of ability and talent in there. He just feels like a horse that has a lot to offer. Uh, so it's kind of a, a fun feeling to ride. He definitely is a very leggy horse. He's he's pretty gorgeous, really. I have a I'm pretty excited about him and his future and and everything he's going to be able to accomplish. I have no idea what we're going to be competing yet for thoroughbred makeover, other than probably freestyle. But he seems to have a lot of talent, maybe to pursue dressage or maybe to pursue uh, one of the jumping disciplines. Uh, my go-to is usually trail and freestyle. I like training for those things, but I have no idea what's going to be best for King. You guys can let me know what you think he looks like he'd be well suited to just based on kind of his uh, movement. And he's uh, he's got a lot to offer here. So we're doing some little changes of direction now. Make sure we do our circles in both directions. And of course, everything that I'm doing is all bitless. I like to start my horses bitless. I like to have everything pretty solid our foundation and then I'll add a bit if I need to for the purpose of the discipline that he competes in but otherwise I would just probably leave in bitless because uh, I don't really need a bit for anything that I'm asking him to do and you really don't need a bit in general um, there's lots of trainers that have proven that you can even train pirouettes and passage and all sorts of really cool things and, and a bit is not essential. It's really about what's going to be best for the horse and what's most comfortable for them and how they receive communication. So I just like to stay bitless and just to help show people that it's not about what you put in the horse's mouth. It's more about 
um, your knowledge of your horse and your energy and how you fit with your horse and their cues and consistency and things like that. So we are working on those circles and just looking for that bending, that shaping, getting him more soft and relaxed. He definitely started off very straight and stiff. And so I'm trying to help him really start to loosen up in his body a little bit. And you can tell he's a little bit um, more stressed and kind of stiff because he was struggling with like moving his hips and his shoulders and he was doing all those little head tossy things. And I show that to all you guys just to kind of show like this is how a horse can start. But of course, if for any of you guys have been following me for a while, you know that in not too long of time, there that's all going to look really different. It's going to be very, very much changed. So this is kind of what the first rides can look like and how rocky they can be. So this is going to be our very first canter riding with the saddle here, the saddle and the reins and riding canter here at my home farm. And you can see we had a little bit of kind of wiggliness as we got started and He's got a very big, um, big canter. It's actually a lovely canter to ride. It's very smooth, very, very nice. So all in all, I think that went really well. He didn't go too fast. He seemed relatively balanced. I thought that was, that was pretty nice. So he's going to get a little clicky there, make sure he's knowing that he's doing a good job and, and give him a little bit of praise, have some time to just kind of stand and sit a little bit. Then we'll head off in the other direction. We don't need to do, um, you know, laps and laps of canter. I just like to look for relaxation, look for some smoothness and some rhythm, and then reward along the way. So here, head note on the right lead canter. My horse that I competed last year in the thoroughbred makeover, Alicia, she had really struggled with her right lead canter. And in the beginning, um, we had to really work to, to be able to get that. And the nice thing about King is he actually got his right lead and his left lead, I would say equally easy. So he seems to be better balanced in that regard and not favoring a side there, which is really nice. So that's kind of um, a bit of a head start there. The fact that he's so comfortable on both his leads and his departures right away. That's kind of a nice little surprise. It's not uncommon for horses to have a favorite side. And Treasure, who my little Palomino Mustang that I've been working and showing you guys her first canters, she actually prefers going to the right and she's not as good going to the left. So you never really know what the horse is going to be like. It could be the right, it could be the left, but uh, you can definitely strengthen that and change it. And I've definitely shown that with Alicia that you can help them become much more balanced with practice. So then we had these little baby cross rail jumps set up and I thought, okay, well, let's try doing a couple of these little baby cross rails and I'll just praise him for going over. This is our first jumps together. And as it being our first jumps, all I'm looking for is that he's willing, that he's trying. Um, the fact that he kind of like nearly hits them a little bit or does some like little trot pulls not a big deal we're just going over praising for trying for effort and if he leaves them up that's a bonus and we definitely don't hold it against a horse when they're jumping like this and kind of learning how to move and pick up their feet because it's a new skill they have to figure out how to do it they have to learn how to do it with a rider on their back so it's all new i just want to stay out of his way so when he is jumping i try to stand up make sure i'm not hitting his back want to make sure I don't pull on his face with the reins at all. I want to make sure that he's free to try to figure that out without me getting in the way. So I just did those couple little jumps and you can see here we're on the little liver pool and uh, we'll kind of come around and pick up a, another little trot here and go around. So I didn't, I didn't want to do a lot of jumps for his first time ever going over jumps. I just wanted to kind of play around with making sure he was willing and that he was okay with it. And then I thought, let's give um, a canner a try. And I just want to see, this is this session is really kind of exploring him a little bit. Let's see what happens if I canter across kind of a diagonal and switch rein, would he switch his lead? And the answer is not as a flying lead change, um, but he did understand to kind of switch his lead there to the right lead. And then I thought, okay, well, well 
We'll try that going from the right to the left. And all we're doing is just playing around and seeing, you know, what is the beginning for King? What, what does the start look like for him? And so here he actually starts to counter canter and then comes down to a trot and gives me a little left lead canter there. So the really nice thing about that, even though he didn't give me any automatic flying lead changes or anything like that, what we did see is that he's very willing to pick up the right lead and the left lead and that he stayed pretty rhythmic doing that. He didn't get panicked and rushed or anything like that. And then just taking a look at some of the building confidence stuff at home and the obstacles, here is his first curtain. So you can see he goes through that pretty willingly, which is pretty nice. We had not done that before and he hasn't seen anything like that. Uh, we didn't practice anything like that when we were in Florida. There wasn't anything there. So this, that was brand new for him and he did that really, really well. And then here's just a little look at his Liberty, which he did do a fair bit of when we were in Florida. So this is not really new for him, but new for him to do in, uh, at home in Canada. So that part is a little bit new, but he's done uh, a fair bit of Liberty before. So just being able to send him out and bring him around, we're going to have to just start playing around with what are we going to do for our freestyle and maybe we'll include some Liberty in that. So that is King's Getting Started session and see a whole bunch of his stuff in the beginning steps. Let me know what you think.